السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa taala the Creator of the universe peace and blessing of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and all those who follow his path بارك الله فيكم as you know that this is our الحمد لله Q and A and this is especially for the month of Ramadan and as you know that uh, you have two options either you can uh, text your messages through the mobile number that is given on the screen which is 0475932980 or you can uh, call directly on this number and inshallah I'll try my level best to give you the answer the call can be in English or Urdu or Arabic or the text can be in English, Urdu or Arabic. And if you don't want to use that number, then you can uh, look at the left side of my show, the screen, where you will find that there's a chat box where you can uh, put your questions in Urdu, English or Arabic. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, as I was discussing about yesterday's issue, first of all, uh, I was talking about two main great, you know, the honor and respect of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the people who are fasting in the month of Ramadan. Number one, eight doors of Jannah are opened, which is uh, in respect and honor that you will enter the paradise uh, if you fast as it should be fasted. So that's a promise and a uh, guarantee from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second is that, mashallah, uh, the doors of the Jahannam, which are seven doors, they are shut down from the day one of the Ramadan, starting of Ramadan, is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honors the people who are fasting in the month of Ramadan, and it's a glad tiding for them that if you really fast the way it should be fasted, then you will be protected from the uh, Jahannam. And there's another hadith to that is that Rasulullah has said, As-Siyamu Jannah ka Jannati Ahadikum القتال, that uh, uh, fasting is like a shield, like a shield of someone who is fighting in the war, in the battlefield. Again, it means that it will uh, protect you from the hellfire. It will work as a shield and you will be saved uh, from the hellfire. So this is, uh, these are the two important issues. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, uh, okay, uh, fear nothing. Can a Muslim marry two sisters a, a same time? No, my brother, there is an ayah of the Qur'an. This, this kind of a marriage was done by the kafir and mushrikeen and Arab in the before Islam. But in Surah An-Nisa, Allah SWT has said, chapter 4, that uh, two sisters cannot uh, be, you know, wives of one man at one time. And then the, the same case came when the people who came to Islam and in uh, while they came to Islam they had these two sisters married to uh, you know one man so Islam gave them the solution that they should not be marrying uh, you know they should not be having two sisters so the latter one will be divorced and the first one will remain or after if both have got any understanding that so the uh, this was subhanallah done by the Sahaba Sahaba has the etiquette of, you know, uh, tendency of سَمِعْنَا وَاطَعْنَا that whenever they hear something from Allah, they would abide by it. So they will never think about, you know, second option or second this and that or uh, excuses. So to your question, uh, Alhamdulillah, it is not allowed in our Sharia that a man can marry two sisters, biological sisters, uh, at one time. Firoz Deshmuk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sheikh. Wa alaikum as salam. What is ruling of fasting while not praying and not observing Islamic clothing? Fasting will not be accepted. I'm very straightforward because pay attention to this hadith of Rasul Sallam that Rasul Sallam has said in Sahih al Bukhari, Man lam yada' qawla zur wal amala bihi fa laysa lillahi hajatun fi an yada'ta amahu wa sharaba. It's regarding the uh, dress, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, hadith says in the uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, 
where Rasulullah has said that the one who is not giving up the bad things with his speech and bad things with his actions and part of the action is uh, the clothing and the garment and the thing that you cover your body with. So if they are indecent uh, garments and it's uh, exposing the aura of a man or a woman, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has clearly, hadith says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ أَنْ يَضَى تَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَ So Allah is not in need of their fasting where they give up food and drink. And they're not giving up the haram. This is with regards to the uh, Islamic clothing. Another hadith of Rasulullah sallam, and if you see the Quran, Quran says that فَخَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ أَضَعُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَاتَّبَعُوا شَهَوَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّ in Surah Maryam Allah SWT is saying the one who is you know after sometimes there will be people who call themselves Muslims but they will be munafiq they will be wasting their prayers they will be wasting their prayers that means they will not be praying as it should be prayed so Allah SWT is saying that خَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ أَضَعُوا الصَّلَاةَ they have wasted their rewards of their prayers وَاتَّبَعُوا شَهَوَاتِ And they were following their lusts and desires. فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّا So instead of going into eight doors of the Jannah, they will go to hell. This is what Allah SWT has confirmed in the Qur'an. Also, when you see uh, Surah Al-Ma'oon, وَيْلُ لِكُلِّ أَرَائِتَ الَّذِي يُكَذِّبُ بِالدِّينِ فَذَلِكَ الَّذِي يَدْعُوا الْيَتِينَ وَلَا يَحُضُّ عَلَى طَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاءُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَعُونَ That Allah SWT is talking about a man who was praying and then Allah is saying that the, the curse has come upon them, especially those people who are praying. And these are the people who were, you know, were neglecting, were, were careless about their prayers. And Allah SWT is saying that these are those who have denied the Akhirah, who have not even you know, try to help the poor people and try to, you know, fulfill the needs of the poor people. So all those things, you know, come into your two uh, part of two parts of the question. One is about the prayers and the second is about the act. The action of Islamic action includes the Islamic garments. So if a person is, subhanAllah, uh, just fasting and giving up food and drink, thinking that he's fasting and his uh, behavior is like this, he is not even, you know, praying on time. He is careless about the prayers. He is careless about his behavior, careless about his dress, careless about his actions. Then Allah is not in need of his fasting. And there's another hadith to this, mashallah. It's a good question. It is like a lecture now. But the question is very clear. And I wanted to make it very clear because I don't want to put people into, you know, understanding that, oh, just giving up food and drink will bring us the... There's a hadith in Musnad Imam Ahmad where Rasulullah has said, hadith also in uh, Sunan Ibn Majah where Rasulullah has said, Rubba sa'imin laysa lahu min siyamihi illa al-ju' wal-atash. Wa rubba qa'imin laysa lahu min qiyamihi illa al-sahar wal-ta'ab. That on the Day of Judgment people will come with the fasting and qiyamu al-layl and tarawih. But Allah will say, the one who is fasting, Allah will say that your fast is rejected and you won't get any reward except you suffered the th uh, thirst and hunger. And the second person who will be with the reward of the taraweeh and qiyamul layl, Allah will say it is not accepted because you got only the credit of uh, straining your eyes and giving strain to your legs. So this, this, and this is the reason that if you are fasting, your fasting should be with the eyes, mouth, uh, thinking, your dress, your behavior, everything. And one of the hadith also says that even fighting is not allowed, abusing is not allowed. And if a person does that to you when you are fasting, you should say, I'm not behaving like you because I'm fasting. So alhamdulillah, this is very important question. And in short, I'm saying, a person who does not pray, his fast will not be accepted. A person who is not behaving properly and not dressing properly, his fast will not be accepted. Uh, I'm in intention in the heart. Okay, uh, Sheikh, do we need to make niya for fasting every single day of Ramadan? Yes. Every single day of Ramadan, it is a reminder for all of us and it's a, a condition uh, because it will tell you how disciplined you should be, how serious you should be. 
because uh, though your sighting of the moon at the beginning and then from that day you have committed to it but again like it's uh, like a more emphasizing more con- uh, you know, uh, like uh, uh, more important and reminder so this is really it is a, an issue an issue that you have to make intention every day some people do not follow oral hygiene and claim their smell smelling mouth smells better than musk this is wrong my brothers and sisters a uh, rasul sallam to get rid of the uh, additional or a strong smell from the mouth he would use miswak stick that is uh, in other words he used to use the brush and today we have mashallah the, the the brush and the toothpaste where you can they don't have taste in that they don't like even you go into your throat you can use mashallah uh, brush your teeth uh, use the toothpaste or you can use miswak uh, and you can clean your mouth but this concept is wrong what you are doing you are hurting yourself and you are hurting the muslims uh, praying with you in the jamaat barakallahu fik so my brothers and sisters mashallah uh, jazakumullah khairan for joining me and please take a little effort then text the brothers and sisters about this show that this show will be every day till the end of ramadan inshallah till the last day of ramadan before the day of eid inshallah i will be appearing here for the question answers you have the question uh, you have the uh, mobile number on the screen and it is internationally 0044759323 uh, eight zero and in local you can say zero seven five nine three double two nine three eight zero and you can put your questions in urdu english and arabic mashallah and if you want to uh, text the t- on the chat box on the left side of me on the screen you can see that mashallah so all those people that mashallah yesterday uh, the show was very mashallah strong and very uh, like you know entertaining and a good number of people they turned up and good questions were asked mashallah but today i think it's like a you know the pressure of the seven a bottle when you un undo the cap the the pressure comes it goes off after some days so this could be a you know subhanallah maybe a situation now or maybe some of the brothers or sisters might be busy uh, because it's definitely it's a time very close time for the iftari and especially our sisters they might be looking after their husbands maybe looking after their parents maybe looking after their mother in laws or their children or brothers and sisters so alhamdulillah we can uh, understand that alhamdulillah all those brothers who are free or if you know that they are interested in that so this is an opportunity for them to you know uh, text the message okay jazakallah khairan uh, who has priority in zakat people living in uk or people living in other countries first is the people in uk and if you know them personally you should give them there is a verse in surah at-tauba chapter 9 verse 100 verse 60 60 eight people are there you have to find those eight people in uk first or do you know any uh, organization that mashallah helps the people uh, national zakat foundation mashallah they are helping the muslims in uk and there are other authorities and also alhamdulillah uh, i also try to find the people if they the brothers and sisters if they have got zakat or they have got sadaqat so i collect from them and then i see who are deserveable people that i give to them and then otherwise i sent to india and pakistan as well alhamdulillah uh, sheikh you are doing great work and you are the only person out there who says how it is i have been reading juma for behind uh, juma for behind you for past 7 years from being single to uh, today i am married with two kids mashallah jazakallah khair my brother you are like a son to me mashallah or daughter to me I don't know your boy or uh, girl or boy, but it seems to be your man, mashallah. So jazakallah khairan. Alhamdulillah. See, there is nothing to compromise with the deen. You know, I I prefer to be you know 
uh, sincere in the sight of Allah instead of being sincere in the sight of the people. People will not go with me in the Jannah. People will not go with me in my grave. People will not help me on the Day of Judgment. It is your, your sincerity that Allah will see. Your, you know, everything that you have done for the sake of Allah, that is what is counted, not what, what people are. So definitely, Alhamdulillah, Barakallah Fiqh for this compliment and may Allah give us life in sincerity and death in sincerity. Uh, if, uh, okay, cricket at best, uh, mashallah. If, if one drinks water accidentally while bathing, uh, will it be caused to, to break the fast? No, alhamdulillah. Rasul sallallahu has said that a person who came and he said, Ya Rasulullah, I, you know, ate and drank out of forgetfulness. So what is the ruling of my fasting? So Rasul sallallahu said to him that, MashaAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fed you. This is Allah who fed you and it won't affect your fasting. So if that is happened, it is happened with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are sincere that, alhamdulillah, you did it accidentally, then this was actually something Allah meant to happen to you. It won't affect your fasting, inshallah. Uh, yesterday, the brother was uh, arguing with another sister with regards to the food that is uh, displayed in front of you. And this is what it happened with me in the, this sehari, the second sehari. I was busy and, you know, it was the time I had everything in front of me and the adhan turned up. And my son was saying, Abu, Abu, Adhan, Adhan, Adhan. And, you know, the uh, last word of Adhan was finished and still had to, you know, drink something. So I did that and I told him, so the, the, this is not something he says that at the end of the Adhan you have to, if that is the case, then in Dubai I used to work as an Imam. And mashallah, near my masjid, there are like, you know, six, seven masajid. Uh, you can hear the uh, noise and the voice coming out of the madhvin. So if that is the case, then you have to wait and the last one the, till that you can. So it's, it's easy. It's not something difficult that if a person has already displayed in front of him. And I quoted uh, on WhatsApp because there are more than uh, 500, 600 people on my WhatsApp with me. So I contacted them. And I sent the four or five hadith about the uh, benefits of eating a short meal. And also the last hadith which I sent, which was the uh, core uh, argument of yesterday's uh, question, that was that Rasulullah said that whatever you have in front of you and you hear the adhan, that adhan should not stop you from what you have. And it says, it doesn't say the adhanic, the ending of adhan, it says, finish uh, from what you have in front of you to, you know, satisfy your necessities and your needs. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, brother Kirkat, at, at best, Alhamdulillah, or brother or sister, whoever you are, your fast is not broken, inshallah. Accidentally eating or drinking will not break your fast, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan. So, my brothers and sisters, you can see the number on the screen. And also one more thing I wanted to tell you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept one door in the Jannah which is called a rayyan <coughs> And that rayyan is the door that will be an angel standing on that door on the Day of Judgment. An angel will tell, uh, Allah will give the command to the angel and angel will announce it that all those who have uh, fasted and were qualified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enter the Jannah this is the gate specially for you people and go from here. And Rasul has continued with the hadith. He says that these people when they will go into the Jannah, they will be satisfied. They will not suffer any thirst anymore the way they were suffering in while they were fasting. And they will never suffer the hunger after that. So these are the three great honors. For those people who are fasting, that the days, doors of Jannah are open, which is guaranteed that they will go to Jannah if they fast properly. And the doors of Jahannam are closed. This is again a promise from Allah that you, if you fast properly, the fast will protect you from hellfire. And the third is that a special door will be open and gate will be open for those people who are fasting. So my brothers and sisters, mashallah, uh, the you know the, those people they also understand that sometimes people they co uh, doubt so many things you know the, about chaining of the shaitan 
and people are doing bad things still they say and so what happened is people like yesterday some brother someone was asking about the effect of the black magic is done on the and will that help be helpful my brothers and sisters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept this month a month of mercy month of blessing month of forgiveness and month of quran mashallah and this is the best month and there's another mashallah honor for the people of fasting rasulullah sallam emphasized more on this specific time that hadith in tirmidhi it says every night which means throughout the year allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, descends on the first heaven that we see and the whole night from iftari till dawn allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is choosing people and listing them out and like like normally you say our list and uh, choose those people that these were the people after sometimes they when they will be sent into the hellfire allah will remove them from the hellfire so these are the people that will be out list short list will be made for them and they will be going to the jannah so every night allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does that but to emphasize the importance of this night these nights of ramadan rasul sallam again said that every night of ramadan every night of ramadan allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses the people to come out of the hellfire and he you know make a sh- short list of those people so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include all of us in that and also my brothers and sisters especially when you are in a country where rasul sallam has said now this is also very important because we are in uk and this is a, a, a christian country where not everybody will be fasting while you are working in the company or working anywhere in the school or whatever the work that you do many people will be eating drinking because they are non muslims so rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said that those people who are fasting and the people around them are eating the person who is fasting will get more reward for that for his sabr for her sabr mashallah so these are all honor and benefits that we can benefit from this so my brothers and sisters as you know that mashallah this is our uh, q&a and inshallah after 5 to 6 minutes i will close down and I, all of you should get ready for the iftari and every day i will be coming at 7 o'clock and if you have got any questions mashallah yesterday i was requesting brothers and sisters to have a list of important questions if they have and we can discuss this on the chat box so this is our live show every day i inshallah i will be coming from 7 to half past 7 and i will be discussing with you the question answers you can put your questions in urdu english arabic and you have got a top uh, you know the chat box is there in front of you you can alhamdulillah write your questions and uh, welcome to this show where mashallah you can put your questions in urdu english and arabic also you can tell your brothers and sisters especially uh, the members who are in the house like your fathers your uncles aunties who are you know aged people and they don't have anything else so you can help them out open the uh, youtube for them and let them watch this program mashallah they will benefit you will get the reward Alhamdulillah and the number is given on the screen you can even text or you can call is 0759322938 and also you internationally it is 0044759322938 and you can call and uh, you can text or you can uh, chat with me on the chat box in English Urdu and Arabic So mashallah these were the things and tomorrow inshallah again i will come up uh, with m- more benefits and merits and virtues uh, of fasting inshallah so jazakumullah khairan barakallahu feekum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh